Hello, today I'm going to explain to you guys Mine and Fletch's theory on how to solo the final boss of Wrath of Machine, Axis. So after our world's first completion, we kind of started thinking of some ideas, and as we did our second run through, we kind of pieced some things together. So, basically what you're going to have to do is use a Warlock to cheese the charge lock out when you pick up the Scorch Cannon. So, how you're going to do this is, you're going to play the fight normally, you're going to have to kill all these shanks, they spawn from a few different spots around the map, I'm going to show you where they're at. You have to kill as many as you can so they're not going to kill you, and it is time based so you don't have all the time in the world. Then once you get empowered, let me explain empowered real quick. So there, it, uh, the game randomly selects three people to be empowered, and since there's only one person in the solo, you're going to be empowered every single time no matter what, 100%, so that's not an issue. So once you get empowered, you have to kill the three cannon captains and I'll show you guys where they all spawn right now and so once you kill all three cannons you're, they're then drop the cannons on the ground and use these cannons to kill the servitors that correspond to their element type so then you go kill all the servitors with the, their individual cannons and they, those servitors drop the ball right but you can't pick up the ball if you have the charge lockout so what you do is you just die and self res and you lose your charge lockout so make sure to kill all three servers first, then die self res. Throw all of the balls, you have plenty of time. Really isn't you don't the ball throwing isn't really that fast. You actually have a decent amount of time. And so once you get his shield down, he's gonna teleport to one of four locations randomly, and every time he teleports, the game auto selects one person or three people in your fire team to be empowered, and since there's only one, you're guaranteed to be empowered. And so basically you have to slam his back when he teleports. And there's four locations, and there's two spots on the map where you can hold down three at once. So you're going to kind of have to get lucky. That's going to be the RNG of the fight. And so you're going to slam his back and do damage. And you do that four times. Well, you slam his back three times, I guess. I'm pretty sure each phase. Then afterwards, after each phase, you uh, go on the totems in the back to stay alive. And so that's in theory how you do damage to him. Now a lot of people are going to say... Well, how are you going to get enough damage solo to kill him? Well, we found out the guy has roughly 11 million health. And if you realize, the Scorch Cannons, you only shoot one shot to each server. So that means you have 27 shots in total of Scorch Cannon to your, for you, you to dispense as you wish each phase. So what you can do is use these Scorch Cannons to damage the boss the first three phases of damage. Then use a Sniper the fourth damage, or fourth damage phase. And then the math ends up being roughly uh, like 2.5 million damage per phase if you do it correctly between the Scorch Cannons and like 10 or 10 to 15 Sniper Shots. And it's a five phase fight because there's four totems in the back so you can survive four damage blasts from them. And if you do the math, 2.5 times 5 is uh, 12.5 million damage so that's 1.5 million more damage than you need so it is in theory possible to do enough damage to him uh, when, That's like not an issue at all The issue is it's extremely hard and time crunch to kill the captains in time and the servers in time and do all that That is the extremely hard part And plus we're under light right now. So once we're over light it'll help not dying as easy And we'll have to mess around with like what weapons are the best to use for this and all that but I'm gonna upload this video just to give everyone a head start on soloing him, because I want to see this guy get soloed eventually. It's going to be extremely hard, but I think we should come together as a community and make it happen. Not like last year where there's a bunch of beef and arguments between people and stuff. Let's just come together, put all of our knowledge together, and help each other. Anyways, thanks for watching. I might play our uh, bit of our world's first kill at the end of this video if you guys didn't see it, because it was really hype. And yeah, see you guys next video. I got tether, I got tether. I did it. I'm still empowered. Alright, come on powered. boys, focus, focus. Right. Back, back mid. I'm empowered now too. I'm I'm empowered. Empowered. I have left, I have left, I have left. Right side, right side, right side. Right side. Right side. Right side. Right side. Nice. Right, mid, mid and left, mid and left, mid and left. Alright, come on boys, we can kill him here, we can kill him here. Mid and left. I'm not empowered and left. Nuke, are you? Yes. I yes. am. Go, 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 go. Final stage. No. Right. Final stage. You can do damage. Damage, 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 dam
Shoot the face. Shoot the face. It's still density. Shoot the face. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Shoot the face. Face. Come on. 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 Yes. 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 Yes.